Hello guys, you're Wilson back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will show you how to use join feature and extrude features of generative shape design. So let's get started. So first of all, first things first. As I know that in order to have join, I would at least need to have two individual surfaces or sketches. So in order to do the same, I will go on sketch and just make one random sketch first so let's say i'm just going to make a spline nothing special about it like always exit out and then i'm going to make another sketch using the same plane or similar plane the condition for join feature is that they need to be at least intersecting or initiating from the same point what I mean by that is, so in this case, I know that this sketch and this sketch have this point or the origin in common because of which join is possible. If this sketch is somewhere here in the air and this sketch is somewhere here in the inside the space, then the join feature won't exist because there is no common element or there is no join point where they can be considered as one single individual element. So two different independent elements can be combined together using join feature. So now join can take place at sketch level and also at surface level. So first I will show you how it can take place at sketch level. So right now you can see that once I hover over it, I have sketch one and sketch two under my ordered geometrical set. So once I hover over it, I can see two different sketches. So this is my join. And once I click on it, it's asking me elements to join. So if I click this particular sketch, sketch one, and then I click sketch two, and then I click preview, it's showing me a green line, considering to be very similar to something like it has been extracted. So both the lines have been extracted and then coincided with each other and considered as one. So when I click OK, when I zoom in, initially there was a black dot here indicating me that this line was different from this line, whereas now it's a common joint. It shows as a white dot, it means that this line is basically the continuation of this line. So both of them are at continuity with each other. So you can see here under join as well, both merging distance is considered. So this is one set of it. Now, if, if I say that I'm going to deactivate for, for a while, just to show you. So I deactivated joint feature. What I'm going to show you right now is, let's say if I have extrude surface, if I use extrude for the upper one, so now I have to do it individually. The upper element will have one extrusion and similarly I have to do it for the second one as well. And I have to click on it. So I have to click on profile and then okay, that's weird. It should show me an option to extrude. Click on profile and Interesting. Let's say if I delete this extrusion and if I click on extrude here, but it's for some reason it's not letting me select this extrusion. That's weird. Let me save it for a while or let me delete this join feature for now. So let's say if I delete it and I'm just going to show you. Yeah, now it's able to because maybe because of sketch two was built later on and the join feature took place. Maybe because of that I was not able to. So I simply deleted the join. I will just make it later on once again. So what I was trying to say is when I'm trying to do the extrusion of the sketch individually because they are not joined, I I need to do it individually. I have no other option. 
So that's why I did the lower one first and then, then the upper side of it. So let's say if I have joined both of them, which is join and join both of these two, what will happen is it will be considered as one. And now if I extrude it, it will show me the extrusion as one completely. So it's very helpful that if you are working at sketch level as well and if you decide to use join you can extract the surface that is joint already and will be considered as one so let's say if you don't want to join at sketch level and you may or may not need to join them later on what will you do so this was joint at sketch level the other one is joint at surface level what does that mean is even if we do the same thing that if you extrude each of them individually so i extruded it individually now they are not joined so like if i hover over the first one it will select the upper side not the lower side and sim similarly it will select the second side not the upper side so if i click on join and if i decide to join both of them and because there is a common element here or common point or a common reference it will, and if I click on preview, it will show me that okay, it is possible to do so. And hence, the join will be considered as this entire surface. So now it will be easier for me to simply go ahead and make changes to both of them if I would need to do it collaboratively. If I need to do it individually, then yes, it's better to just have it at once. If I need to make changes at multiple surfaces, that I that those have a common intersection, then it's always better to have join feature applicable and then go ahead with all the split and the trims. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like these kind of videos, then do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye.